Hi everyone, my name is Manny and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Okay, so today there are some things that I want to show you that I recently purchased. There is going to be one doll restoration and possibly one unboxing. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I purchased. Okay, so these are the three dolls that I purchased recently. Over here on the far right, we have Jewel Secrets Whitney. Okay, so this box date says 1986, uh, but I believe she came out in 1985 too. Maybe they have different box dates. I don't know. Anyway, um, she came out around that time. And in this Jewel Secrets lineup, you also have Barbie who uh, isn't necessarily my favorite. Like, I definitely think that Jill Secrets Whitney has a better outfit and also beautifully long hair. And you also get Ken, Jill Secrets Ken, who I'm not super interested in getting, but, you know, whatever. And then you also get Skipper. Apparently, she was available. It says... Uh, Skipper is available spring of 1987. So, yeah. So there is like a whole lineup for the Jewel Secrets. And I also got Dream Date Barbie, who came out in 1982. So she's more of an early superstar, early 80s superstar. And she looks in really good condition, obviously, because she's in the box. The I was debating on whether I wanted to open dream date barbie just because she looks really good but the like plastic screen is yellowing and the rubber band in her hair broke so i was kind of like you know what i i want to unbox her so i'm going to unbox dream date barbie probably in this video and then i'm going to wait on jewel secrets whitney maybe for another video uh, because for this video, I'm going to also restore this Totally Hair Barbie, which I got for $2. So I found Totally Hair Barbie uh, for 2 bucks at a local thrift store near me, and I was super excited to get her. So she looks in actually really good condition. She's not like super dirty. I haven't done anything to clean her. Uh, I haven't even washed her hair yet. And she came with her earrings and her ring, which I'm really excited about because when I was looking online for for a Totally Hair Barbie, they were going, like in this condition, completely naked. They were going for like $35 and up, and that doesn't include shipping. So I am really excited that I got her for $2. And because she came nude, I had to search for her dress and accessories separately. So the dress and accessories I actually purchased from Mercari, so I didn't thrift this one. Uh, but the dress is in really good condition, and she came with uh, the most of her accessories, actually. I'm not sure if this is her original hair accessory. I don't remember what color it is. I'll have to like look it up. But I know that this little purple swirly piece is definitely hers and then the dress really good condition the headband and the pink pumps and i also purchased a hair crimper it's a half inch pencil hair crimper so it'll be better for the dolls i purchased this one from amazon i feel like i'm going to use it like once to restore her and then that's it so i don't know i have to figure out whether i'm going to use it and then return it because it is amazon and here in the U.S., Amazon is really good about returns. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I think first what I want to do is I want to start with restoring the Totally Hair doll. And then we can come back while she's, like, drying and everything. We'll come back and uh, open up Dream Date Barbie. And then we will open up Jewel Secrets Whitney in another video. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm just going to give her a quick wipe down with this melamine sponge. Uh, here in the US, it's called like magic eraser. 
but yeah, so I'm going to put this in a little bit of water and just wipe her down to get off any like excess oil and stuff like that. Okay, so she is all clean and for the dress the dress actually doesn't look bad at all and it also doesn't have a funny smell or odor and I've seen a lot of these vintage dresses very faded because I also don't visibly see any dirt on it I'm just gonna keep it um, as is and I'll just um, you know put it directly on her I'm not gonna wash it I don't want to risk any more fading or any rips or anything like that so i think it's fine okay so i'm just checking to make sure that the water isn't warm or hot i want it to be on the sort of like room temperature side uh, because the hair um, has some crimp still in it and this type of hair is called Konecolon. They used it a lot in the 90s. They no longer use Konecolon. Sorry, I turned off the water. Um, I didn't mean to waste water. So yeah, because the crimps, there are a good amount of crimps in there, I wanna keep those. And your room temperature water will keep them in there hopefully. So yeah, room temperature water. Okay, so I didn't want to use conditioner at first. Uh, I always try to use like the least invasive method to restore a doll. So for me, that's soap and water and the melamine sponge. But uh, because this is super knotted and I'm finding it really, and super long, uh, I'm finding it really difficult to get her scalp untangled. Uh, there's a lot of uh, knots here in the uh, close to her scalp, so I'm going to use conditioner. And uh, the reason I don't like using conditioner is because I want her hair to be light and fluffy. This type of fiber, Konecolon, is meant to be light and fluffy. And if you add any conditioner or oils to it, it does tend to make it look oily and heavier than it needs to. But um, in order to detangle it, I need to put in some conditioner and then I'll make sure to like wash it all out so that it's uh, very light and fluffy. Okay, so I am all done. Oh, there's like a little knot right here, I can see it. Okay, I'll brush that out in a second. But um, I'm not gonna lie, that was really difficult. Um, yeah, that was really difficult. It took a lot of time to brush this out.
So for the crimper, uh, her hair has to be damp uh, because this is a plastic fiber. So um, I'm gonna use the lowest setting on the crimper to crimp her hair. Um, I will say her hair is not like terribly straight. Like the crimp is still in there, which I really like. Uh, so I could just leave her like this if I wanted to, but I bought this crimper and I really wanna use it. So let's let's just try it out okay so the lowest setting on this pencil crimper is 300 degrees fahrenheit so yeah i'm just gonna make sure it's nice the hair is nice and damp uh, before i use this Okay, so this is how it turned out. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really good. I just had to make sure that the hair was super damp so it wouldn't burn off. Uh, this is how it looks uh, still wet. But yeah, so we're gonna keep going. Okay, so I brushed it out and it looks good. I think that I might have to do bigger chunks maybe. Let me look at a reference image. It's kind of hard to tell uh, what it is, but I think that, yeah, if I do bigger chunks, it might look a little bit better uh, just because I feel like this is pretty small and it's probably because it's a pencil crimper, so uh, it looks a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna do bigger chunks so that it looks more like this. I do think that the crimps might be still a little too small, but I don't know, what do you all think? The smaller crimps definitely make her hair look more voluminous, which is good because she did lose a lot of hair. But yeah, so this is how she turned out. Uh, I'm really loving her. And let's take a look at my dream date Barbie. Okay, so she came out super easily. She only had one twist tie in her hair and it looks like rubber band that used to be here holding her hair. So we'll have to wash that out. Her entire hair actually feels pretty sticky, uh, like sticky saran. So let me go ahead and wash her hair out and then show you what she looks like. 
Okay, so here she is after a couple hair washes. Her hair was very sticky, and honestly, her hair is still kind of sticky, like her entire hair. And I think that's just the quality of the saran. Like, the thing about these early superstar dolls is that the rooting is pretty sparse, and the saran is not great quality. Like, I can already feel it deteriorating. If you look closely, you can actually see her scalp. This makes styling her hair really difficult because if you comb it in the wrong way, it will show her scalp and she will look bald. Yeah, so these early superstar dolls are just not rooted great. So I'm actually all for Mattel doing some reproductions of the early superstar dolls because a lot of the times in the reproductions they fix the rooting issue and they aren't as sparsely rooted. We just got a reproduction fashion photo PJ. 1977 Superstar Barbie was also a really good reproduction. The hair rooting is a lot better on that one than on the original. I don't think I showed you the heels. So the heels are this sort of raspberry pink color. They're Barbie mules. Her legs do bend and snap and she has the twist and turn waist. And this ruffle can be taken off and styled in many different ways. But I do want to keep her like as original as possible as in like, you know, as, as she looks in the box. So I'm just going to keep this big puffy sleeve for her. I actually quite like the way it looks and I'll just display her like that. Okay, so I'm filming this outro on a different day, so that's why my hair looks a lot shorter because I got a haircut. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Also, let me know what you thought about my Totally Hair Barbie. Do you think that the crimps are too small? I feel like I'm definitely going to return the crimper that I bought because they are kind of small, the crimps. And although I do like the way it looks, the original has larger crimped hair, so I will probably purchase another crimper and maybe try again on another doll or maybe on the same doll. But yeah, let me know what you all thought in the comments down below. All right, everyone, I will see you on the next one. Bye.